Hello and welcome back to Game of Trades. My name is Peter and today we're going to be focusing on the stock market, more specifically on the ARK Innovation ETF that's been heavily underperforming the stock market. It peaked back in February 2021. We had a rapid 30% drop right here. That was followed by a bearish continuation pattern, what you call a bearish pennant right here, this nice period of consolidation. And then we got that breakdown. And since then, the ETF has been selling off. Now, we covered all this two months ago in this video, major sell-off in stocks. Is the bubble popping? And we made the parallel to 2000, where you had stocks like Cisco, Intel, Oracle that were trading at 200 plus PE ratio. So very very high valuations and now you had tesla zillow square and crispr trading at 400 plus pe ratios you had a huge amount of retail interest extreme bullish sentiment extreme valuations unsustainable rally and on top of that we identified a nice topping pattern on the arc etf this head and shoulders pattern that broke down and you had the measure target to around $100, which is just below where we're currently trading at on the ARK ETF. So we're going to talk about that in this video, because if this is actually a bearish pennant and we see a breakdown here, the measure target of that breakdown will be much farther down. How you get the measure target is by taking this flagpole right here and pasting it right there. And that would actually take us down all the way down to around this level of support at 76 dollars so we're going to first talk about the potential impact that would have on the stock market whether you should be worried about that if you're holding the s p 500 or the nasdaq 100 and then we're going to actually take a look at the technicals of this etf to see if we think that's actually something that's likely to happen this type of drop i'd like to thank morning brew for sponsoring this video now, before discovering Morning Brew, it's easy to start your mornings by aimlessly browsing through social media. Now, with Morning Brew, you have a free daily newsletter from Monday till Sunday that will get you up to speed on business news in just five minutes. Now, as opposed to the dry, dense, traditional news, you get a witty, relevant, and informative Morning Brew. There's no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew if you're interested in business, finance, or tech. For example, in this quick post, we found out that the TSA screened the most passengers since March last year. This type of information gives you insights on what's happening with the economy. You can click the link in the description to subscribe to Morning Brew. It's completely free and it takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So let's first take a look at how the NASDAQ 100 is correlated to the ARK ETF. How much of an impact do these moves have on the tech sector? So let's add the NASDAQ 100 on this chart. And you can see right here, we've got the NASDAQ in orange right here. And the ARK ETF did correspond to a significant top on the NASDAQ 100. So if we measure that up from the top from the top of that rally on the NASDAQ all the way to the bottom of that correction, that was actually a 12% correction in the tech sector. So quite significant, but nothing compared to the 34% drop we had on the ARK ETF. So while this is definitely having an impact on the rest of the tech sector, even if we have another 30% drop from current levels, all the way to that target that we talked about that would only trigger around a 10% correction on the NASDAQ 100. So, and we're already down 5% from the all time high. So we're going to come back to the NASDAQ 100 in just a second, because when you see stocks dropping, the first thing that should come into your mind is whether or not you should be buying that dip because they do not happen that often. Now, if we compare the S and P 500 to the ARK ETF, and add that on this chart right here. You can see that drop right here only corresponded to a very small correction on the S&P 500 right here, a 5% correction on the S&P 500. So if you're holding stocks, if you're holding other sectors than tech, and you just clicked on this video to find out if this situation was dangerous to the rest of the stock market, then you've got your answer. It's not dangerous. The top holdings of this ARK Invest ETF do not make up a huge portion of the S&P 500. And so it doesn't have that much of an impact 
when it does drop. What it will have an impact on is the rest of the retail community that's been heavily invested into these stocks. And that is very unfortunate if we continue to see this sell-off occur, because that's one of the things that we strive for at gameoftrades.net is we wanna help retail investors stay away from these types of overhyped markets and identify actual opportunities in the stock market that are likely to outperform significantly over the coming years and most importantly apply the right type of diversification to those trades to those investments by talking about our convictions across asset classes not just a few overhyped stocks so as i said we're going to be taking a look at the nasdaq 100 right now to see if we can identify any opportunities there are with this recent drop. So this is an eight hour chart of the NASDAQ 100. You can see we have a nice downtrend line resistance right there, and we're approaching our price channel resistance that we have right here. So could this be a great buying opportunity? Potentially, right? That depends on what happens with the ARK ETF. But if we continue seeing it sell off, as I said, we could see a 10% drop on the NASDAQ 100 before completely bottoming. And that could take us back down to 12,760 points before resuming the uptrend. But I wanna show you guys something else that we're paying attention to and that you should be really looking at. And that is the ratio between the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500. So let's take a look at the weekly chart right here. So we've taken a look at this chart many times on this channel before. And we talked about how this ratio has progressed since the 1990s, where we saw a huge move up in the NASDAQ 100, taking us all the way up to this area of resistance. Then you had the bust that was then followed again by a huge outperformance of tech to the S&P 500. And you can see what happened right there during the COVID crisis. We actually broke out above that line of resistance and started to consolidate above. But now let's take a look at what's happening right now we're seeing the nasdaq 100 come back down below this line of support so that's a very important development the session has not closed yet but if we have this type of big red candle at the close that would be a huge sell signal for tech and that would be bad news for tech in the intermediate term that's the importance of keeping an open mind about all outcomes right up until this point right here it looked like a breakout back test and consolidation of tech and right here we got that big breakdown and that's when you can start expecting more downside on tech so we're going to make a separate video for that in the next few days taking a look at that in detail so make sure to leave a comment down below to let us know what you think of this is this the end of the tech outperformance that we've seen throughout the past 20 years, or is this just a whipsaw signal before another big leg up in tech? We love to get different viewpoints from you guys. It helps open up the debate and keep an open mind about all outcomes, which is incredibly important to do when you're investing and when you're trading. And by the way, make sure to drop a like on this video. It helps our channel out massively, so it's greatly, greatly appreciated. So now let's take a look at the ARC ETF and see if we should expect more downside in the coming days that could potentially bring down the rest of the tech sector. The first thing that I see on this chart right there is this line of support. It's very well defined. You've got a reaction at the very top of this move right there. And then you've got a beautiful breakout here, a nice gap up and then consolidation just above where you've got an open a close and another open just above that level and that's exactly the moment when you started to see some really crazy gains on this etf and you can see what's happening right now we're breaking down below that okay so again the the day is not over by the time you see this we'll already have another candle on this chart but if we close down below this level right here and we open the next session below this level as well. That's a very bearish development and we would be looking for more downside. Now from a trading standpoint, you can actually take a short trade on that with a stop loss just above. It limits your risk massively because you know exactly where you're wrong on that trade. If we see the price pop back above this level, you do not wanna be shorting the ARK ETF anymore. Now again, I don't recommend shorting to anyone, especially not beginner traders. You need to have a lot of experience to do that kind of thing. But that is what you call a high reward 
pretty low risk kind of setup because you've got a measured target all the way down here around 26% below the current levels. And you can actually set your stop loss just two or 3% above where we currently are. So that's a massive reward to your potential risk. But now what happens if we do snap back above this level? And that's actually starting to look very interesting for the ARK ETF. I've put the RSI on this chart. If we snap back above and we start to form an actual bottom here, then that would mark some pretty heavy divergence between the price and the RSI. Right there, you've got a low and a lower low on the price and a low and a higher low on the RSI, suggesting momentum to the downside is slowing down. And that would suggest this is a very significant bottom. But in order to confirm that, you really need to wait to see a proper reversal. So you've got another area of resistance right here. That's a strong level of resistance around at this level at $110. We see this type of move right here. That would be incredibly bullish for the ARK ETF because you'd have divergence after a large correction in stocks that are overhyped and that could really pick up a lot of momentum again. So those are the two scenarios. But right now, as we speak, we're breaking down. So we really have that bearish bias on the ARK ETF ever since we had that head and shoulders pattern right here that broke down. That was just a massively bearish development on this ETF. And this is just another confirmation of that. If this breakdown gets confirmed, we'd see the RSI drop much lower than that into oversold territory and those divergences would be burnt. So I hope that makes sense and it clarifies a lot of questions on the underperformance of emerging technologies. That's about all I wanted to cover in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time.